down on tier one. Switching oh, over to MM2, right, just oh, to play a couple missions oh. here for you guys. Um, I am actually going to switch up the title here. Okay. Uh, uh, to, uh, a. Ooh, that A is so small. Oh, A. Alrighty. And that's where I should have had noticed that I was wrong, right there. Alright. That was a complete disaster. Holy fuck. Yeah, that was bad. Alright, to all of you guys who have been watching or had watched or whatever, uh, thank you for watching. I am actually going to quickly switch over to another game. So if you guys wouldn't mind, continue watching on this blank screen just so you guys don't see my desktop. Alright. Just so you guys don't see my desktop. Alright. Alrighty, good morning, folks. Um, this is going to be the game, as I mentioned earlier, that there's going to be a buddy of mine that's going to be hopping on later on tonight um, at around uh, 3. Um, at around 7, me and him are actually going to be doing a multi-twitch so you guys can see both ends at the same time. Um, please, please, please come and watch. I'm not trying to beg, but... This will be a good opportunity for you guys. It'll be fun. It'll be nice. And I'm actually going to go ahead and today go in depth with the whole Acre system. Um, just because I know um, yesterday a couple of you guys had asked about it. So we're going to go ahead and do a full in-depth Acre uh, wow. um, um, investigation. So... With that, uh, what you guys are going to need is, um, I'm going to actually go into my expansion. What you guys are going to need is this program here, Acri, and it will not have an image, so that's good. Then you're going to need um, JArma2 library, um, that is an ex extension of Acri. Then you're going to need um, 
advanced combat environment extras and advanced combat environment. What these two do is help Acri work and give you extra equipment and vehicles. Um, they do modify some vehicles so you can do a lot more than just eh, nothing. Um, because some vehicles just look like they could do something and then you don't have that option. Well, now with the um, advanced um, combat environment, you actually get that stuff that you thought it could do. Um, this radar unit, this is an extra mod that we got. Um, this I would suggest if you wanted to use, or if you want to do a radar unit, go ahead, grab it. It's off of Armaholic. Um, down below in the description for this one, I will also be doing a um, Armaholic or for the full set here, I'm gonna actually give you links to everything that I mentioned earlier today um, and throughout the day. I'm gonna give you all the links down in the description box below for YouTube, for um, Twitch. Um, I will figure out a way to get you guys that information. Um, if you guys got mess or any questions at all and you're watching the YouTube um, video, I will leave an email for you guys to email me at. Please understand that I do not take hate mail. If I get hate mail, I will mark down your name and I will completely ignore you from that day on. So, now I do take constructive um, criticism that I accept, but do not just bash me down to the ground like none other. I will erase you, I will delete you, I will ban you from everything that I do. So with that, um, here we go. I'm going to actually go ahead and do this for you. So we're going to cancel out because I've actually got them all activated that I need. All right. Now that I run on my tyrant, sorry about that. Kind of had to just because I know people have been sending me hate mail for the last couple months. And I'm getting sick of it. So we're going to go multiplayer. Now why I'm going in multiplayer just because um, it's when me and him are going to go and do these things, um, he actually has the ability of making me the um, server host. And with that, I can actually create missions right now, and then we can go and go ahead and use those or do those missions. So I'm going to actually go new. Just put it on land for right now if you guys do um, have it. Um, we actually, later on tonight, if he's on, I'm going to see if he's willing to go on with Twitch on me or on Twitch with me. And we're going to show you from our point of view, um, kind of how we, what we had to do in order to get what we're about to do or what we're going to do later on to work. Um, it is, um, one of the things that we found that actually works now that, um, Arma has completely, all of Arma's, the uh, Arma 2, uh, Arma 3, they all had, um, GameSpy had dropped out of Arma 2's um, whole um, server hosting capabilities. They just dropped out of nowhere. Um, so now uh, we actually frantically searched and dove into every single little hints or um, suggestions or anything, and we found that none of it worked so we what we did is we went ahead and port forwarded all of our ports that we know we use that work for this game and we did it on our routers we didn't go to our um uh to our providers um service providers i know when i went and asked um, my service provider they said just to open up um about five ports and to have one being the main port opened, it would cost me $45 just to start off, just for that month, just to open it up, right there, then and there, $45. Then you add another $15 per month just to keep it maintenance and keep it up and running. For me, I don't have that kind of money. I know you guys don't have that kind of money if you're watching this and you're hardcore gamers. You just don't want to do that because you want to put your money where it's more worth and where it's well used, and that would be getting more games, playing with your friends, and enjoying your time online with other people, right? So what we did is we went onto our routers ourselves, 
and run ahead and port forwarded the route or the ports that we knew we had to get. Um, I am going to leave a list of all the ports that need to be opened up. Um, you also are going to need to um, grab the IP address off of your friend's computer and actually link it up so that way you guys can connect. Only one of you has to do this. Um, for our case, um, my buddy actually did that. He grabbed my IP address and connected it that way. So now I, he has to open up all the um, multiplayer or the servers, but I can join him then after that. So with that, right now we're going to go land just because we don't really, he's not on and we don't need to worry about it. And now... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so I don't like Omaha 2, or version 2. That's actually Omaha Beach. If you guys know what D-Day is from your history lessons, this is what it is. Um, I don't like it. I just hate it. But it does have a good mission on it. So, But I actually like this one. This here, Chernus is all of, let's see, Takistan, Zergbagad, um, Desert is actually its own thing, so is this one, Takistan, Sapor, and Amutis are all part of Chernus, so if you use Chernus, you're actually getting all of their, uh, those, uh, three maps, or no, four, because Proving Ground is also in Chernus, so with that, um, we're gonna go, and actually, We're just going to go here, actually. We're just going to play the armory because it should have it. Um, yep, 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 yep. All right, so um, this is the armory. Um, this is one of the missions where it is all timed. You only get like, um, I believe it's like an hour on here, but that's fine for right now. That's all we're going to need because I'm only going to show you a couple vehicles. And with that being said, I can actually tell you exactly which ones are going to be accurate and which ones aren't. Um, and yes, there is a difference with each of the vehicles because the accurate vehicles, which have ace advanced combat environments attached to it, all have extra features that you will never have on regular vehicles. So um, keep that in mind when you're actually going around and you're putting things down. If it has an AE next to it in uh, um, one category, I'll show you that later on in another map that we create. If it has AE, that's advanced environment. That big, um, that group right there is going to have is only going to be the modified vehicles, which, eh, or whatever. So right now, I'm going to get myself set up here for possible flight and whatever else that they've got here um hold on give me a second my headset's messing up here all right there we go now you guys should be able to hear me i'm gonna turn this up my frames dropped like another again oh my fucking god if this keeps on um i may actually have to stop um live going um twitch feeding here and i'm probably gonna have to figure out a way to get this my friends to go back up i may have to just go ahead and do a complete scan of my system and then come back on which is eh, whatever but i i wouldn't like to i don't like doing this all the time i really don't now as you guys can see there um the one gun closest to us right now, that is the, uh, actually, I don't know what that is. The gun next to it is a grenade launcher. The one gun after that, which looks like an assault rifle, that's actually a shotgun with a, um, I want to say a 30-round drum. Um, after that is a pump rifle. 
and after that is a sniper rifle. Um, so yeah. Um, everything on this map does have um, its meta challenges, challenges, server controls. This is where I want to go because I actually want to turn off that timer. I think I can do it off of this. Um, I cannot. All right. So um, with this, actually, this is what you want to see. Um, password, you can create a password to log in. Um, if your per, um, if your friend actually put a password on it. So because we're just doing it on ourselves, don't worry about that. Um, this is Ace right here, advanced. That just tells you who made it. Players, obviously me. Units, we're gonna actually check my gear out. Now you guys are gonna see this is Acri. And this is what I was talking about, the advanced combat. You see how this has a what looks like an AE? That's advanced combat or advanced equipment. So um, that's all that that means. I gotta... Hold on, guys. All right, there we go. All right, now I'm good. So um, with this, I am actually going to go ahead. Um, this is the MA4, or wow, M4A1. It's a semi-automatic um, rifle. It can go from burst, or no, it can go from semi-automatic, which is a single shot, to full automatic, which is every clip in, or every round of the clip goes off within, I believe it's like, I want to say in a minute. It might be more, but I don't know what it is exactly. Um, this radio right here, um, this I'm going to show you how to activate it. I'm also going to give you other key commands that we figured out actually do work. Um, out there on the internet, there are hints, there are guides and stuff that say, hey, do this, do this, do this, and none of them worked. Um, there is one video that we watched that had a couple of the right commands in it. I don't know why they had the rest wrong, but we're gonna. I'm gonna give you the correct commands, what actually works, and how to actually use it. So with that being said, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna close up, we're gonna continue, and we're gonna dive right on in. And now I'm going to try to scoot up. Oh, that hurts. All right, so we're going to go third person. Now, what I'm going to do is actually show you my guy. All right, so that's my guy right there. Did nothing special on him, right? Except for one thing. Um, when you want to activate your radio, you're going to have to do this all the time before you try to commit to um, speaking to people. And that's all they say, which is pathetic. All right, hey, control shift X. What will happen, it will bring this Acri radio. This is the advanced combat radio environment. So now these channels are only um, frequency channels. So that means um, you, for, for instance, if you guys got like a squad that you guys are dealing with, then you'd actually use um, this. Now with this being said is um, each squad you'd like to have on one channel. Why? Because um, if you have them all sitting on, let's say, channel zero, when they're all communicating, nobody's going to know what's going on. And squad lead would, if you're a squad lead, you'd rather have your squad know what's going on and be able to hear you, right? So squad one would go on squad or channel zero, squad two would go into channel two, one, squad three, and so on. You want to keep your um, squads separated into individual channels. Um, just because it is very, 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 very helpful. Um, now, if you have, for instance, two different radios, I'm not sure if they've got the radios in here. I'll show you the um, radios in another map. Um, but if you've got this, you want 
to keep this on either your left side or your right side because that second radio you can put on the other ear and when you're communicating to people you'll have both ears going at once but you'll be able to decipher which side it's coming off of because your headphones will actually sync up to it so only one ear will hear it and not the other but it'll seem like both ears are hearing it at the same time don't worry about it it's fine it works all right so now this button here or this knob here is your volume what you want to do is click this way to go louder and click downwards to, or to the left to go lower. I don't know why that is. It's just how they are. And this button you don't have to worry about. This you don't have to worry about because now you activated it. Now, this is what I'm talking about how you can switch it. Now, when you want to switch it to the ear, hit Control, Shift, Left, arrow. Whoa, didn't go through. Okay, Control, Shift, Left, up. There you go. All right, so as you can see, I hit left, it's going to my left ear. Hit right, it's going to my right ear. Hit up, it's going to center to both ears. I want it to go to my left ear, so that way I know that this radio is on my left-hand side. That's where it needs to be. So now from here, we're going to actually keep run up to... Oh, this is even glitchy. Ooh. Oh, no, no, uh, 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 yeah, it's kind of glitchy here. All right, I'll have to run a um, diagnostics on my system later on. Um, I'll do this after I finish up here. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, let's see, what else do you guys need to know about this radio? Uh, that's about... Oh, this. Um, when you are communicating, when you are... T um, right now, obviously, you guys are going to be seeing the bottom side. You'll see the vehicle direct global... Um, side, command, group. Okay, so now what you want to do is those will all be fine and set. Um, I know I don't have TeamSpeak set up to Acri. Don't worry, it's actually connected. We just don't have servers connected to it. That's all that's mean. Um, that's because we had to use an older version of TeamSpeak, which none of the servers nowadays actually connect to. So, it is what it is but we still get the same effects that it would work. It's just not as great, eh, but whatever. Anyways, so um, with that being said, now what you need to do is keep it on. Attention visitors. You can test your vehicle's mobility at the mobility range. Nice. Actually, I'll turn this up so I can. All right, there we go. So now we're going to keep it on to um, global. Why global? Well, because when you're actually in those channels with the Acri, that's all. You, you, you're going to be in those channels. That's it. You're not going to need to worry about the whole global connected or any of that. So don't worry about it. Just deal with it as you come along. Now, when you want to com um, communicate, make sure that you've got your keys connected to the right um, TeamSpeak button for communication and take out your... Um, in-game communication keys. This is why I say I'd just keep it at global because you're never going to use it. But for my case, because TeamSpeak's not fully connected, and for you guys who now get it, it won't be connected as well. So what we're going to do is just keep hitting um, your command or your com communication key, which would be cap locks. Just hold it down, and as you can see right now, it's saying that I'm transmitting on my radio. That's my frequency, right? Well, that frequency can be changed just by going like this, going to channel 2. Now, if I keep going, as you see, it's, um, you don't see that it's changed, but in actuality, it has changed right now. I'm actually talking to a different group, to a different channel, everything. So that's how that works. So that's the box. If it's working, like the advanced environment and Acri is working, you'll see that transmitting thing, and you'll see this radio each time that you do it. That's telling you that Acri is actually working, and it's working perfectly fine. Now, the only thing that you won't get or hear is the beeping sound, or the um, click sound that you normally will hear. That won't come on your end. That will come on the other end. Like, for every single time that he's talking to me, I'll hear the beeping after he's done, or when I'm done with him, he'll hear, you know, vice versa. So it's nice to be able to, you know, get to know that you, the other person's done talking. 
So we're going to actually bring down that video and actually end this video here. I'm sorry to say it. I've got to end it now just so I can clean up this shot and give you guys a better video. So um, with that being said, thank you for watching. And please keep watching and keep waiting for my other videos. With that being said, have a good day.